Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, we are going to be now hitting all Elden Ring bosses in New Game Plus with the Axe of Godfrey, a very beautiful colossal weapon that can break the game entirely. First of all, I'm going to show you the build and then we are going to fight the bosses. To obtain the Axe of Godfrey, you must defeat Horalu and give his remembrance to Enya. This weapon deals only physical standard damage and scales with strength and dexterity. Its unique skill, Regal Roar, is a very cool movement that Godfrey performs after his HP bar is below 70%. However, it takes a while to charge this attack so we will need to get the right timing to complete each fight successfully. Once the skill is activated, it will grant a buff that lasts 40 seconds, increasing our damage by 7.5%, boosting our strength by 5 levels, and unlocking a secret heavy attack sequence that is part of Ghost 3 moveset as well. To get the max performance of this weapon, we will level up strength and dexterity to 80, and fade to the retreat to cast Golden Vow and Howl of Shabril. Remember that I don't level up Vigor cause it doesn't give me any benefit, but I know that this is not optimal at all. For that reason, on screen you can see an optimal version of the stats for this build. Don't worry cause the damage you will get is basically the same but with a lot of more HP. We need to operate the Axe of Godfrey at plus 10 and use the Highland Axe as our left hand weapon. This little axe will dramatically increase the damage of the Regal Roar skill, as well as the benefits we get when using it. The best part is that we will preserve the passive effect of this axe even if we use our main weapon with both hands. Also we will need anything we have to cast Golden Vow and Howl of Shabriri. It is important to mention that as this weapon only deals physical damage, the best body buff we can use is Blood Bowl Aromatic. This item only boosts physical damage but it does it by 30% and for a total of 60 seconds besides of increasing the stamina bar at max. But this one is very difficult to craft so if you don't want to spend hours farming materials feel free to use Hall of Shabriri. Obviously we are going to use the Elden Lord set to become Godfrey himself. Remember it's just fashion it doesn't affect the build at all. The best talismans for this build are the Axe Talisman, the Roar Talisman, the Shard of Alexander and the Red Feathered Branch Sword or the Ritual Sword Talisman depending on how much you care for your mental health. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we will use the Spike Crack Tear and Stone Barb Crack Tear. With this setup, we will get the max benefit from the Regal Roar skill and the moveset it unlocks after it's activated. Don't forget that Pickle Tortonex are amazing optional items that can boost your stamina regeneration speed. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fights? Go. <laughs> it wasn't the best start that I have had, but at least I managed to kill him with the skill, dude. I remember the good old days when this guy was hard, dude. <laughs> no way, dude. He's going to the second phase right now, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> I knew it was it was going to be very hard. Let's go. That's it. <laughs> I wanted to do it in the first phase, but it was going to be very difficult because the weapon deals a decent amount of damage. Okay, see, let's see if we can bait the charge. Oh my god, the, the last hit is so fucking powerful, man! Oh! I mean, it seems like I don't have a hitbox, bro! No way! I am getting some cool iframes with this build, dude. I'm just going like an idiot and I'm, I'm still alive, dude. That's cool, but I'm very confused as well. <laughs> oh, that was close as hell, dude. That was really close, bro. I almost died there, man. But I didn't.
Come on, baby. That's it. That, it was a little bit better, dude. Man, I, I tried to do better, guys, but this guy is very annoying. I tried as much as I could, but that's the best I can do. Oh my god. This kill was so beautiful, bro. <laughs> no way. The fire giant got destroyed, dude. You come here now, bro. No way. You are crazy. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, this time is this time has to work. Okay, I think it's gonna work better with this guy. Yeah, definitely. Not yeah, there we go. It wasn't as I wanted to be, but it worked to me. I wanted to do it uh, with the skill, but it, it was going to be very difficult. It, it was not going to be possible. Oh, it's crazy, bro. Holy, dude. Nice. Oh! <laughs> that was insane, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was very funny because it actually stands broken there, bro. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen, guys? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Let's go. Oh, I thought it was going to be tougher, but it was very nice. He actually didn't react to the first uh, to the first hit. I don't know why, but that was cool. What's he gonna do? Okay. Oh, we cancelled that thing, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> it worked, man. <laughs> I actually didn't imagine that I was going to be able to cancel that attack. Oh, that was beautiful, guys. Let's go. Nice. Fast, 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 fast. Oof, close. Very, very close. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Let's go! That's what I'm talking about, baby. It was beautiful. <laughs> Guys, it was so beautiful. The skill is very slow, bro, but the damage that it does is very cool. So it's it's balanced. It's not that broken because it's very hard to use. Oh, it's close. <laughs> the guys, dude. <laughs> the guys flying around are so funny. Okay, now it, it has to work. If I go behind her, it should work. <laughs> Let's go. N this time it worked properly, bro. No way. The range is decent as well. Very decent, I'd say. Okay, so if it's very decent, I will do it right here. Nice. Oh, I didn't get the others. Oh my god, that was close. Oh, they are going wild on me. Some of the buff attacks. Uh! Nice. At least he's down. Oh my god. Maybe? Perfect, guys. Let's go. <laughs> I need him to get out from all that thing. Now he's too close. That's the problem. Nice. Oh, that was so close. Oh, that was so insane. I almost got hit by that thing. Nice. What are you gonna do, bro? He's gonna fly? Yeah, he's gonna fly. Maybe if I get stuck here, I will get a good hit. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Oh, I... Oh, that... <laughs> oh, I thought I was dead right there, man. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Let's go. That was very cool, guys. <laughs> nice. It was very cool. Thank you, dear. Thank you, little dear. You did it so well, buddy. Okay, that's a little bit better. Yeah. Warrior! <laughs> Let's go, baby! <laughs> Tail attack, please. Oh my god. Another one. Nice. And that's it for Astel, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> I mean, it's not that difficult to perform, but I was very stupid on using that. I, I was so obsessed with dealing heavy attacks for no reason. Yeah, this moveset is cool, but it's not gonna be optimal against a lot of enemies.
Oh, that's a bad mistake right there. Oh, it's a decent damage. It's all about running. Nice. Nice. Wow, it's a very difficult uh, attack to dodge. He's not ready to go? That's crazy, dude. He should be leaving now. No, he's not leaving. He's leaving now, definitely. Now he's leaving. Now we are in the safe zone. Nice. Oh, I needed a little bit of damage there. Boom, baby. Oh my god, it was not my best fight, but yeah, it is what it is, guys. I can't do uh, too much with this weapon against this guy because the weapon is very slow and he as he deals standard damage. Uh, there is not too much that I can do against this guy. I'm talking about guys <laughs> let's go warrior this is perfect oh my god once more nice let's go baby what it was a little bit weird, right, guys? I don't care if it was a glitch. We did it, man. <laughs> Why did I connect two attacks on air? <laughs> Let's go guys, that's what I'm talking about, baby. I mean, it's very hard to use against some bosses and with this one, it was very complicated to get the right timing with the inputs, but we did it, guys. That's it. And that's it for today's video, guys. As you saw, this axe is actually very good, but it's very underrated as well. Uh, I have to confess that I didn't imagine that it was so good. I was like, I never tried this weapon before, to be honest. I didn't know the benefits that the Regal Roar skill gives to the weapon. Because if you play it without using the skill, the weapon behaves just like a normal great axe. And But if you use the skill, you will feel more like a, a Godfrey weapon. And it feels like that, because it's very powerful. The problem with this weapon is that it's very, very slow. It's actually one of the slowest weapons I have tried in terms of the skill. It is a colossal weapon, so naturally it is going to be slow, but the skill takes a while to perform completely. And if you want to perform the heavy sequence that the skill grants, it is going to be very tough because the sequence are slow as well and if you don't charge it they are not good as they will be if you will charge it so the thing here is that if you want to play this weapon without taking hits you have to be very aware of the moveset of the enemies you are going to, tr to, to face or you can play with a heavy armor set and that way you will be able to receive some hits 
and deal enough damage when using this skill. Cause the skill is very very amazing in terms of damage and in visual stuff. Cause it looks amazing and it goes very wild. But the problem is that you have to be very careful with the timing and you have to know very well the moveset of some enemies. But in general I think it's a great weapon that everyone should try at least one time. So here you have the build for it guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. That way you will support me a lot. Have a great day guys. My name is Carlos and I'll see you in the next one.